In this example, um, we will apply Newton's laws of motion to determine the mass of block A for the system to stay at rest. This is an inelastic string keeping mass B together. So we need to calculate the minimum mass that A must possess in order for the system to remain at rest. As usual, whenever you are given a problem that involves forces, the very first thing that you need to do is to draw a free body diagram. So let's annotate the diagram to show all the forces acting on the system. We have 2mg T one T two and T three. This angle is theta. We have MX G FN and FS. So we've annotated the forces in the diagram. Now we are going to treat each object separately. Now this is a knot, and you would realize that we can resolve or split T2 into its components. This will be T2 sine theta, and this will be T2 cosine theta. So let's start with block B. For B, we know that the sum of forces in the y direction, we have T1 minus 2mg equal to 0. This means that T1 is equal to 2mg. Let's handle this knot. There is also a tension here, T1. So we know that for the knot, the summation of F in the X direction, you have T2 sine theta minus T3 will be equal to zero. This means that T3 is equal to T2, the sine of theta. Now, if we do the forces in the y direction, you will have T2 cosine theta minus T1 equal to zero. This means that T2 cosine theta will be equal to 2mg. Now, if you compare, in other words, T2 is equal to 2mg divided by cosine theta. So what will be T3? This means, this would mean that T3 which is T2, this is 2mg, divided by cosine theta, multiplied by sine. So T3 will be equal to 2mg, sine divided by cos, will give you tangent of theta. Now here's the trick. Block A is at rest. That means that this right here, this right here, you have T3. 
see block A is at rest, that means that the static friction force is balanced by T3. In other words, in other words, 2mg and theta will be equal to Fs max, which is mu s Fn. But what do we know? We know that the sum of forces in the y direction is zero. That means that Fn is equal to mxg. So, we will then have one half mxg because mu is one half. This will be equal to 2mg tangent of theta. This g cancels off with this g. And we will end up with, with mx equal to 4m tangent of theta. Thank you, everybody. I hope you did enjoy the problem. Please, if you have any questions, subscribe below and ask so that um, I'm going to be uploading more videos. Um, so whenever a video is uploaded, you're automatically notified. I hope this did help you. If you have any questions, please, I will appreciate it. If you ask, I'll be able to help you more. Thank you. Bye-bye.